the uh, the start over option actually is kind of interesting. It, it almost like makes me think that uh, repeat. It, it kind of feels like repeat playthroughs uh, might be a regular thing, like an expected thing. Like if it was a if you struggle enough and you're forced back to it, start over, um, it kind of has a sort of a roguelite feel in that respect. Oh, and before I forget, the uh, the captions plugin is working now, so I'm gonna start that up. Almost forgot. Anywho, so we finished our first trip out. Uh, we we basically went from complete rookie to uh, to we're gonna take you on the full trip. We're about to head out first. Uh, so basically, we have a few different. We can we can do uh, I guess five trips total. Uh, in order to get things that we we're looking to get. So, for example, uh, I need to get um, initially. I need to get three different um, the initial three items for the shop to to keep um, to stay on the on the normal route for the caravan. Um, because otherwise, we we would be stuck. Like we would literally be. Um, we we like they would never. <laughs> <laughs> they would ever pass by home. We'd we'd have to close the shop. Um, but right now we have we have like three main things. Uh, Samuel wants to get some some roasted nuts, which is a secret ingredient for barbecue stuff. Uh, Elias needs an instrument for this um, this um, uh, this event that's coming up uh, at home. Um, and and yeah, uh, Barto, uh, we need to get uh, we need to make sure we get back before uh, like the tr this is as far as the trip can go because we need to get back for the show. Uh, so shouldn't take too long to uh, to do everything. I think. Well, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I mostly just want to get the couple items that uh, have been requested, and uh, and not too too terribly. Hopefully, I'm not too winded because like the, the if we're doing the full trip, uh, if we're doing the full trip, it's gonna be. I don't know if I went past what like twenty ish days before. So this is gonna be rough. So here, here's home. Here's where the shop is, and we're gonna we're gonna meander the entire way out. And I'm guessing, uh, yeah, nobody even knows right now how to get there. But uh, Enka seems to be our target, and uh, to, to the best of my knowledge, um, I don't even recognize it. Direct and forceful. So there was one that was like creative and industrious. Yeah. Who else would have direct and who else would have direct and forceful? No, these these are all these are all the starter stuff where we have logic we have empathetic and observant and logical and diplomatic. So that's gonna be interesting. So I like I'm almost to the point where I need to I I must I absolutely must get creative and industrious working. Uh, because if I can't, then I'm not going to be ready. Because we're, I need something that's going to allow me to get through these when uh, I, don't, I won't have direct and forceful, and I'm going to need it later on. Like, here, Anka, at least, I can, I can get through if I can build accords with logical and diplomatic, but we'll see. Uh, but I definitely don't want to, like... <laughs> I don't want to just take the back route to uh, uh, Ramina. I don't think it would it would allow me to, would it? Probably not. All right. Well, let's head on over. Um, I did get the licorice from uh, Isabella. Oh, that's cool. They even tell you. Uh, that's that's excellent. I like that a lot. They have the reminders basically saying, here's... So wait a second, then. 
Yeah, I can get the fortune next time I'm, uh, I'm in. Is to cook off. Wonder if they'll tell me, uh... Where was... I don't know if I know where I can get toys. Because I wanted to get an instrument. Well, you know what? There is a, there is a, like a, a bunch of, uh... There is... I don't know if I could find it. Yeah, I won't be able to check. Uh, I don't remember... Like there, so there's, there should be something I can refer to. Uh, oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay, this is what I want. Um, oh, I can't actually. Okay, I guess in that case, then it's the wherever this place is that sells the the instrument. I'll just have to come across. I mean, they'll tell me. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. Alright. This is probably the best way to go. Get my fortune. Get some nuts. Yeah, I need to stop here anyways. I can't I can't take the back route. Okay. She looks stressed from performing too many tasks. The streets are rowdy with celebration. Parents corral their children around dynamic sculptures. Now old friends collide into spontaneous talks. Dog tails wag with a velocity of fan blades. Is it always like this around here? Huh, interesting. Nadine doesn't really have anything to say today. I mean, we're just getting started, so Nadine probably doesn't really care too much. She's probably just like, let's get, let's get far enough out for it to matter. Community rivals. Though Isabella's store smells as good as always, she seems stressed. Split between tasks. Uh, split between tasks that would keep multiple people busy. Oh, it's so lovely to have you back. Can you put those gloves on, please? My assistant didn't come in. Oh, no. Don't worry. I won't work you to death. I just needed to repair an ice bath while I stir this mixture. What are we making? Start me off easier, are yeah. Oh, that's easy enough to work with. Uh, in fact, if I wanted to build an... Well, I could do it either way, couldn't I? But, uh... Yeah, I'll have to reconsider. Well, I don't know. I could chatter and keep the Discord going. The, uh, the Accord going. I keep doing that. It's stuck in my brain. How firm do you like your licorice? I don't add much flour anymore. Too tough on my teeth. Yes, this will be a good batch. I can tell. Soft, chewy, almost closer to gelatin than licorice. That's how your mom always preferred it. Uh, you know? Now I can, because of the cord, I can swap out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Well, oh, actually, hold on. Does she have something that'll work here? She's, she's, she's all fine. Okay. There. Oh, we kept the cord going too, which means that I can, and because she has the, uh, the, uh, both choices. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. We're done. I mean, the, there's no more cards left at this point. It's so nice having you around the shop. Uh, Marquez and I haven't been getting on lately. Marquez? Marks? Marquis? 
Uh, her word carries a lot of weight with the circle. Pacheco's wealthiest patrons. Around here, they're the closest thing in town to a governing body. Reckon they're why friends have been avoiding me. Ooh. Oh well, just think of it as one more reason to stop by and see me again soon. Helping Isabella out is always a worthwhile learning opportunity, especially as one of Mom's friends. Licorice from Pachenko. Okay, so I remember you stalking. I wasn't sure if they were one-offs. This is a this is a nice card to have. And ah oh man, the the problem is is that how, what am I going to swap out for? Well, I don't know. This is this is a direct upgrade for that one. Let's do it. Ah, here we go. Uh, Marquez, Marquez, Marquez. I have no. How do you pronounce this? Let's see if anybody has any guide for it. Oh, it's Marcus. I think. Yeah, it's Marcus. Okay. Or Marquez. Well, let's go with that. That works for me. Alright. There's an outdoor art show in the square with a well-to-do crowd in attendance. Your dusty attire raises eyebrows as you browse. Stopping to study an oil painting of an abandoned city, you're suddenly aware of being studied yourself. Oh no. Don't mind me. I can't help but delight in the sight of new faces around Pachenko. My name is Marcus, and this lovely little show is all my doing. I heard about your mom. Please accept my deepest condolences. I'd have rolled out the red carpet if I'd, if I'd known of your coming. So, is that piece your favorite? I kind of... Oh, I don't have it on me. I wanted to see... Uh, I don't have the card that I want that will let me to see your deck. But at least at least she only has two symbols to go with. Actually, when, when did I get... When did I get a double-sided one? With, uh, with both symbols. Maybe I've had this the entire time. This is like the best damn card ever, though. This beats out everything I've got. In fact, it's like the only card I can play unless I want to accommodate. And, or no, I shouldn't. Yeah, accommodate would be really bad. I can, uh... I can play this and chatter. Well, I can't chatter that. I can, oh, hopefully she'll throw something out I can chatter with. Because then I can, I can get a reconsider afterwards. Yeah, good. We've got to, we can chatter the the accord there and keep going. I can chatter the accord to a reconsider. It's a bit dour to my, for my taste, but to be drawn to that piece in particular, you must have a keen eye for art. The city in the painting is Hera, once great, now dead and abandoned. It's distracting to focus on the unpleasantness of the past. Wouldn't you rather enjoy some cute cat paintings from a circle artist? Uh, I don't know. Having, having time to digest is kind of nice. Oh, you haven't heard of the circle? Strange, but your attire does suggest you've been spending your time under a rock. Thanks. Well, no matter. You're here now, and it's no accident. You see, I too have a keen eye for talent. Wow, why'd it be so frickin' rude? Uh, I could accommodate to keep the accord going.
Oh, well, we're gonna do this, are we? Okay. Wow, do you have nothing? <laughs> you have no other cards, or you're just you're being especially accommodating today? Well, this will get like this will break the accord, but this will make you going for the next turn. The circle is Vachenko's council of patrons, uh, of which I am one, obviously. Our guidance is what sets this town apart from the others. No art means no vision, no future. The makings of a dead, sterile civilization. Not unlike Hera here. Your mom shared the circle's vision, you know. Many years ago, Vachenko was her home. Town knows a lot to her. The first time I met her, I had a very good feeling, the same one I feel talking to you now. I do hope you come back. The circle can always use new friends. Funny talking about uh, art. I, that's one of the things I, I actually need to. I want to get. I need to get some more stuff to put on my walls. Um, if I'm gonna be cooped out, if I'm gonna be cooped up inside my apartment for as long as I've been. Um, I need, I need, I don't know, I need something to look at, I need inspiration, you know. I know that's such like a first world problem, but I definitely, like, I feel like a bit of like mental rot staying inside so much. I'm going to try to, to make a point of going out more once this is all over. Um, really slim for choices. This will get me like if she switches up. This will get me out of it. Hey, thanks for the raid, Nixel. Welcome everybody. Oh, good, good. Finally, <laughs> okay, this will work. I feel a little bit trapped there. Oh, it's the chatter too. I could just keep this going. Okay, perfect. Here, all good. Alas, I really must be running along now, but please have some wine. Consider it a welcome gift. How old is this character? Don't be shy. I always provide far more than my guests can drink. No need to thank me now. I'm sure we'll talk again soon, won't we? I guess I guess she's probably like young adult at this point. I mean considering that she's like trying to run a store and going out on these long treks and managing the business and stuff. Uh, Marcus seems to know more than she lets on, but she wasn't kidding about the wine. The crate of red wine is almost too heavy to carry back to your truck. Yeah. So I don't keep any wine on me, but I have a, uh, I have a bottle of, uh, I have a bottle of, of, uh, Tostiasti from, like, 20... Wow, I'm trying to... I think it was May 12th, 2010, the release of Heroes of New Earth. And I still have not... I, I've just been carrying it around. I have a particular occasion that I've been keeping it for. Um, the occasion actually came and went. Uh, but the I, they, I wanted to have uh, one of the people who I used to work with, um, of a particular few, uh, around to drink it. So I, I haven't opened it yet. Not really much of a wine drinker, though. I mean, not really even much for champagne, either. But, um, Tosti's fine. I, I'm not even, like, a beer drinker, either. It's all, it's all, like, it's either cider, or I go straight to, like, rum and coke, or, you know, uh, screwdrivers, or whatever. I don't want none of this. Oh, I'm gonna be forced to. I'm gonna be forced though. Oh no. You like non-alcoholic cider? I don't think I've had non-alcoholic cider. 
You've doomed me. I have to get rid of an accommodator or something. Am I in the US? Yeah. I was sure that probably means that the quality of stuff that's available to me is probably pretty garbo. I mean, the same, the same would be often said for things like cheese. I don't know what I should, uh, I, mean, I, can't, I don't want to get rid of this. I want another one of these. I want my ability cards. I don't want to get rid of this. Seems like I'm going to move out and accommodate and go for a, a, a plain card. Look up cider mills nearby, get it fresh. When, uh... When the quarantine is over, I'm definitely going to have to get a lot more adventurous. I need, I need, I want to live a more interesting life than uh, work, home, and almost never going out. And I'm sure, honestly, uh, everybody else who's stuck inside is going to be having the same thought of like, <laughs> as soon as it's actually safe and not like stupid people safe, uh, I'm going to want to go out. I'm gonna have to take this. I don't know if there's any way around it. It's interesting that how that mechanic works. How basically you're forced to uh, to choose to abandon something that may be super valuable to potentially take something that you just don't want. It means that uh, longer longer journeys are like a big management concern. Like how do you how do you keep the stuff you want? Get the conversations that you want to happen. So that you can, you know, you can progress the story, collect the stuff for the shop. It's interesting how much how much complexity there is in this game. Nadine's still Nadine <laughs> Nadine is still really silent. She doesn't want to say anything. I mean, she's having none of it. She's all business today. Oh, there's Hera. Bannon City built into a series of canyons. This place is somehow connected to the Circle and Pachenko. Can't go there though, I just know about it. I guess we'll find out later. Uh Oh, I wanna I wanna see what his options were, because I, I, I screwed up his his conversation tree earlier and I didn't get the nuts. Um Let me see. He wasn't he regular where is he? Here we go. Alexis. No, his he's got regular. He's got empathetic and observant and logical and diplomatic. He doesn't have any of this. But the first character that had anything special was uh, the uh, the dude who uh, pickles everything to pseudo with uh, creative and industrious. Everybody else has been the same two symbols. Uh, honestly, actually, I kind of want to go back to Samuel and get another another um, another chatty card so I can just talk over people. <laughs> just just like if I can get the first word in, get a chatty card immediately, and just like. Just like combo through a uh, a conversation, that'll make a lot of stuff easier later on. The only problem is, is that they can do the same. On this visit, there's more to observe than than the distant beauty around Clifton. The rows are sheer cliff faces, portraits of sedimentation built through the centuries. Must be why so many rooftops here have chairs and tables. I want to, uh, one day I want to own a house that, uh, I can set up stuff at the top floor, like on the, on the roof, you know, or have some sort of like, uh, have some sort of like deck area on, on an upper floor. Uh, they seem to be in some state of distress. We got nut problems? Uh... Theft in Clifton. Few goods remain in Alexis' stall. You'd think they had a wildly successful sale, if not for their dour demeanor. Hunched over in a wicker chair, rolling a walnut back and forth between their palms. Ah, keep away, my friends, or my bad luck will spread. I'm afraid my stall has been robbed. Yes, it's true. Oh no, Alexis, can I not buy some nuts? I need to buy nuts. Y your luck is fine. We'll get through this. 
Oh no, I have nothing. I literally have nothing. We do have bad luck. I'm forced to fail immediately. Because all I can do is just... Yeah, I literally am forced to fail. Well, let me throw away the card that I don't care about in that case. Please, I'm in distress. Oh, come on, man. Don't do me like that. I keep forgetting. <laughs> There's nothing anyone could do for me. I keep forgetting that. Uh, I can't just throw away a card because it's going to do me later on. I have three, three fleet matches or I'm doomed. Here. That's relatively compatible with everything. However, could such a thing happen, you ask? Well, I am much too trusting. I know the culprit, Klaus. In fact, I know her so well. I know she's fled to, to Desert Oasis. But do not think of justice, my friend. The road to Desert Oasis is long. Too long. I'd never advise travel there. Certainly not on my behalf. Oh, I'm going to keep this accord going. But I don't want to reconsider. I don't have a chat. Well, I do have this. Perfect. He's just going to keep going. Or they, they're still going to keep going. In any case, the damage is done. Everyone in Clifton knows I've been robbed. That's all that matters. Around here, to be stolen? To be stolen from is an LMN, and bad luck spreads. You're the only one willing to talk to me. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Well, well, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out... We're gonna find Klaus. Hmm. I could play this... And then redo the Accord on the way out. And this gives me, like, e like, I have the Accord enough to do this and follow it up with something else. Yeah, see? And then I'll... Ooh, I can chatter! I can just... Well, we're at the last card anyways, who cares? That's still fine. Okay, we brought it back. Uh, worry not for me, yes. This is only an obstacle. My customers are the true victims, deprived of delicious nuts. Wait! Can I- can I have some nuts? No... No, now I have to go and- I have to go and chase down Klaus. You talk Alexis down from their spiraling anxieties. It's a bad situation to be sure, but it's not the end. They seem calmer when you leave. I wonder if I can chase... Klaus. Tough call. I, I think I don't want to change anything yet. I wonder if I can choose to, to give chase. There is a desert oasis. Can I go? We could take a detour. I think I might have to, uh... If I'm gonna do that, I, I might have to talk down to Nadine. A resort tucked into the sands like a long-lost jewel. Alexis said the nut thief fled there. Alright. There's Klaus. She's watching travelers walk past. Theo, sometimes when I'm relaxing, he sells dried fruit. What type are you? You're probably easier to handle to start. Alexis's vague directions bore fruit. Eh? Eh? Fruit? Hmm? Fried fruit. Uh, towards the rising sun. Toward the long expanse. It's whole... The shimmering desert air reveals a resort hidden in a sea of dunes. Travelers from centuries past... Must have felt relieved to find this place. Alright. Alright, you. 
Thief in Exile. Finding desert oasis was the hard part. Now that you're here, Klaus stands out like a sore thumb. A living, breathing person in an environment where other life conceal or other where other life conceals itself inside vast red dunes. She makes no effort to run. So that merchant found help, didn't they? Worry not. I have no weapons of a person, nor do I intend to flee. Yeah, I was wondering where the difficulty would skew when they want to when they want a harder encounter like this. So I can't make any mistakes, uh, and I have to I have to have two complete matches. So I better I better get an, an accord going, and I can chatter through it too. Also, the other thing: so not only do you have to have matches, not only do you have one failure allowed, but you have to you have a longer stretch um, rather than the four I needed earlier. All right, let me let me talk your let me make my case. Talk your head off. I want to see your cards. I can't. Uh. All right, I'll give you an out. Here, I'll break the cord, but you have options now. Ooh, you can chatter too. Uh, I don't owe you an explanation. Graveling indeed is beneath me. What I feel in this moment is bewilderment. But also some euphu euphu uh, geez, euphoria, to be sure. It is riveting to be chased. Don't you feel it too? Some excitement? Even heroism? Uh, seems like the best thing I can do right now is try to get an accord going. Perfect, we're gonna keep it too. That makes it easier for me. Oh no, I forgot. That's, pr that's part of the problem with going into the desert. But I can break the accord and give her whatever options she wants. Perfect. Okay. Here, the roasted nuts I stole from Alexis. You know, this makes you like an accomplice, really? Klaus seems convinced by your arguments, at least on the surface. As she turns away to head into Desert Oasis, she winks, fingers crossed behind her back. Alright, get some nuts. Oh, I, that's, I don't know if I can just take this right back, <laughs> right back to the store, oh, or should I, uh, should I pass back in order to, uh, to hand out the nuts? So, so this is an identical chatter from what I had before. I mean, this is the best possible card I could take, unless I want to just, hmm. This this gives me like a very heavy, a very logical heavy deck, but also means that I can I can power through conversations. Honestly, this might be better than a I don't know. Accommodate is kind of a wild card. Accommodate is basically saying, ah, oh, it's a tough call. Thinking gonna do it. I'm sure we're gonna pay for this later. All right, Theo. Let's let's see about some of this fruit. A stall outside the resort displays long baskets of colorful dried fruit. Tiny identification signs poking up from piles of prunes, apricots, and bananas. It seems unattended until a loose pile of clothes and hair opens its eyes. It's like Gogo from uh, Final Fantasy VI. That's the second Final Fantasy VI reference we've made so far. Uh, feel free to sample the apricot. Not too much, though. I've got a business to run here. Mouse to feed. Ooh. I can get rid of the fatigue and immediately try to get like the two chatters that I want and get through a chunk of the dialogue. Let me, uh, I could build an accord real easy, but I also don't want to, I, I kind of want to, 
I want to work my way towards... I don't want to lose this card, though. Yeah, okay, let's do this. I have no other options besides this. I have to run this one. And build the cord. Yeah. Hmm. That's not gonna work. I don't know if this breaks... I think... I don't know if the cord is kept... I think the cord is broken in this... I don't know. Next mismatch to the cord. So the cord still exists. And if I if I do if I let the cord run. Because normally it would break. That's what, what it must be, is that uh, a match here doesn't extend the cord out. But I think the cord still exists, so I'm gonna try this. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, okay. But now it means I'm boned. <laughs> Because I can't, I don't have direct and forceful at all, and I can't. Like this is gonna break it. Yeah, he's not. He's not. We 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 don't speak the same language. He really wants me to buy his dried fruit, and I don't know how to tell him. I just want. I I, I wanna. I wanna buy your dried fruit, friend. Yeah, that what I did was probably not 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 gonna be good enough. I'm gonna have to lose this one. So what card do I want to throw away in this case? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna mess this up. So what I do need to do though is I need to make sure that I actually can't I have to be logical and diplomatic when I do this. Because what's gonna end up happening is that whatever I fail with is gonna be my next card and he's gonna try to respond to. So I'm gonna try it with the chatter. So, he, so we're not gonna don't like fruit. Who doesn't like fruit? I like fruit. It's like the pickle guy. The pickle guy is like, hey, you don't like my pickles? I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do another chatter into an accommodate and keep the accord going. Yeah, and or I didn't build the accord. Because I'm chattering and I didn't, uh, gotta ruin it. Yeah. All I can do now is just play something and try to give him, like, try to make him, make it work. Speak up, buddy. My hearing ain't what it used to be. I'm gonna lose this because I don't have anything. I have nothing that works here. Yeah. I'm gonna just say I I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I'm pretty sure I still got a card though. I'm just leaving nutrients on the table. You let Theo get back to his nap, which he indeed does. Maybe he'll be per more personable after some rest. Luckily, at least now I can get I can actually get a uh, a card that maybe one day we'll have a, a functional conversation with him. I'm gonna get rid of the accommodate. It's not helping. I at least got some nuts, and that that helps. Well, at least Matilda will will help me out. You approach a welcoming rest stop off the side of the road. Travelers sit around sharing stories. Yes, I would like to get this fatigue out of the way. Choose a card to gain a single use of cord. Ooh. One woman entra uh, entrances the group with a story about getting lost in the back alleys of Anka. You listen and learn, preparing for the road ahead. Hmm. Uh, I could put an accord. I want to put an accord on. Um, I could put an accord on one of these just to, to insulate it against failure. <laughs> yeah. 
Damn, I'm even more tired. I'm, I, I, I have two fatigue I just picked up now. An older woman reads a worn-out hardcover on a wooden bench. A couple races the bicycles down the lone dirt road. Everyone looks her way as your truck passes. When there's no caravan around, Oakland Borough returns to normal. It's waiting in front of a tea table, okay. Matilda sits in the front uh, sits in the front of a tea table, cross-legged on a pillow. Her store is dark, shades drawn, dimly lit only by candles. She opens her eyes to invite you forward. Hey. Uh, you're here for matcha. How did I know? The leaves told me. Uh -huh. Would you like your fortune told? I'll walk you through the ritual. Just take a seat in front of your cup. Go ahead. Drink. Leave only a little. Oh, are we gonna, like, figure out what my Nen color is or whatever? No, it has to be a full one, I think. Or mostly full. I'll take a sip. Well, I mean, I can talk her head off. Oh no. Well, this is the only option. This is the only, only thing that makes sense. I'll keep the accord going. Or I'll use the accord to uh, to get to the next uh, to get a good start to the next round. Uh, isn't that warm? Sit for a moment. Chill out. Think about your future. All the potential paths ahead. And now, as promised, I'll read the leaves. Hold on. I recognize this symbol. Gotta look this one up. Sorry. Uh, bugs, standing water. This is totally a swamp. Better dress for mud. Hmm. There's also something about a love left behind. Pursery. Oh good, she's giving me an easy out. Perfect. Maybe... Oh, there's so, all my fatigues are here? You're killing me. Oh, I'm glad there's a reconsider coming up. And an accord. I got, these have to go. This too. Yeah, perfect. I'm glad I have a reconsider. If I had to keep going, I would have been boned. Well, that was fun. Thanks for letting me tell your future. Carefully, you take the direct road to Barto. It's rarely traveled and not maintained. T symbols. Lots to think about after such predictions. At least to have some matcha to drink while you dwell over it all. That's good. I'm getting more stuff for the store. There's another reconsider. I want to keep the chatters. Uh, I'm probably going to take this guy. Well, oh, um. Or I guess I'll just directly upgrade this one. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Matilda has paid off. And not just for the matcha. Oh, cool. We can, like, shortcut it. I kind of want to, to just drop the stuff off and get rid of the fatigue. But then I'll be ending a trip, and I don't want to do that. Hey, Coonser. How is it? Is it at least alright? It seems like I, uh. I saw you mentioning the temperatures before. I don't. I, don't I, I think I asked you if it's still going. At least all right. Well, that's good. I don't know if you saw uh, earlier, but I'm uh, I'm finally ordering like all the extra stuff for uh, to have a, a, like a proper standing desk for my work machine. The. Uh, it's so, so. The funny thing is that the um, it said uh, it said the shipping it said it might not ship until July seventh. So I'm gonna have to tough it out in the meantime. Um, all the other desk stuff is gonna show up earlier. So what I might try to do is try to try to wing together like a, a half a half setup at least to get the monitor arms and stuff. Um, 
the uh, the tables that I'm using as a desk right now are they ha they're they're like folding tables, and they're you know they're like the the uh, the like more like around two foot by four foot folding tables, and uh, they have like a metal rim around them. It makes diff it makes it really difficult to mount stuff to them. So I might try to mount the monitors temporarily, but. It might be kind of obnoxious. I'm gonna have to get like a piece of wood or something like that to uh, <laughs> to brace it. I'll figure something out. But I, I at least want to have more desk space um, and not have the monitors crowding it. Oh well. This heat sink has you just wondering if you could save some money on that build for the CM Evo. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm so hopelessly obsessed with trying to get a quieter setup that I would I just I really wouldn't even if it's a good a good standard heat sink with a fan and a, and a heat pipe on it like I'm it's oh man it's so hard not to just say like closed loop water cooler H85 go for it think this fan is quieter than the one attached to your water your water cooler it could be if you have a uh, if you have one that's not built to be quiet, because mine is mine is a hundred like a quiet one twenty millimeter fan on the uh, on the radiator on the on the water cooler, and uh, it's designed it's like designed to be the quietest thing that they offer. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I did the same thing. I, I opted for the PWM. Uh, I don't even know if you can do non PWM coolers for. Uh, for CPU coolers, anyways. I made sure that all of my case fans were, uh, except for maybe the the one twenty millimeter on the top of my uh, my gaming rig. I don't remember if that one is. I think it is. It's quiet at least, and that's the most important thing. I'm sick of having. Uh, I've in in the past I've had such crazy noisy. Uh, because your water one wasn't? Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> it just... Not having, like... I guess you just have a full blast all the time, which would be awful. The water cool one was three was three pin. That's, that's terrible. Um, what you could do, though, is because the cooler will operate independently, like the motor for the cooler, like the pump on it, um, probably has a different lead. Um, what you... I mean, it depends on which cooler you have. You can have the, the water cooler going to one, to one, and then replace out the fan on the radiator. Like, I've already replaced the fan on the radiator for my current one on the streaming rig. I've, I think I've replaced it twice because it, it uh, eventually gets, uh... I think it starts to melt. It gets a little rattly. Um... It's easy to replace. It's just a it's just a PWM one twenty millimeter fan, and any of them will do. It doesn't really matter. You just make sure it's connected to uh, the CPU fan um, port, and then you're fine. Like like the PWM one or whatever, what, whatever the jumper name is. I don't remember what it's called. All right. Uh, I don't want to go back to Bartow yet, but man, I am I am dying. Like, this would be another trip. What? Okay, let me see. Where are we? We are... Ruminia. Or Rumina. So that's where they are. Until day 35. Where, what, what number are we on? We're 21. So I, I have a couple of days to get over there before they bail. Uh, yeah. Hmm. But I'm exhausted. I really need to go back to Barto. Hmm. I don't I don't know what I want to do here. 
Uh, let's take a look at the deck. Where are we at? We have three fatigue cards. Like, I'm strongly risking... And I only have one reconsider. I am very, very strongly risking failing everything from here on out. Because if I get three fatigue cards in the same... Like, and I don't have a reconsider, I'm screwed. At least this one has an accord on it. Okay, well let's let's uh, let's try to get there and <laughs> I don't think, I don't know how I'm gonna get I have no idea how I'm gonna get these pickles. And I I don't I like I don't have enough creative and industrious. Let me hold on, let me take a look at my my, my deck again. Is there any way I can power through this well enough? Like I have enough empathetic and observant on the left. Like, if I get lucky, I can get some pickles, so we'll see. We come across a roadhouse packed with travelers while a storm darkens the horizon. Yes, let's go chill and get my fatigue out of the way. While the other is busy themselves preparing food and exchanging stories, you watch as the storm engulfs the outside world. What are those shapes moving out there? Two is a card to gain, observe. It will overwrite the existing effects. Well, in that case... I am going to choose one of these to be an observe. These are relatively safe. I could put it on this and get it like an, an observe everything card. But this card is so good. Well, I don't know, it could be generic. Yeah, I'll do it on this. Four fatigues. I'm potentially going to just drop like a rock. On the next conversation. Salem. And let's see. All around the central plaza, tables are heaped high with fragrant dishes and homemade treats. Some sort of festival is underway. Towards the back of the plaza, two especially large stations dominate the area. <laughs> uh, alright, well, let's not mess up our pickle opportunity. Let's first talk to Salem and see if we can learn something. Someone's looking particularly pleased with herself, himself. Tex is a little small on a, on a 55 inch TV this far away. Pride and pickle juice. Wait a second. They're both making pickles? Onlookers gather like dark clouds over a battlefield. This can only mean one thing. You've arrived just in time for Salem and Tesudo's cook off. You find Salem making final preparations in his shop. You're just in time to witness the downfall of the pseudo. This cook-off is just what I need to put that pungent pickle pusher in its place, once and for all. What do you got? Is that like kimchi or something? Oh my god, I already have two fatigues to start. And I have... At least I can get my cord going. Uh, do you not speak anything else other than fucking killing me? Well, theoretically, theoretically this might work. Or I could, I could chatter, I could break the chord chatter, and run this and get another chord. Ah, oh, freaking fatigue! You're killing me. All right, and I gotta reconsider. Fate is full of surprises, fine, but it never makes mistakes. In the end, the deserving prosper, and the undeserving are punished. It has nothing to do with luck. The sheer variety of my dishes speaks for itself. Colors alone catch the eye, and as any expert will tell you, appearance is 70% of taste. What you ask is the secret to making profoundly wonderful kimchi, I called it. Why? It's believing in yourself, of course. We can work with this. I want to give options. I want to build an accord, and I I want to see what you're doing. Oh, good. Backtrack. Remove all cards back to the last valid match. Oh, 
Oh, weird. Oh, so if you have a mismatch, it allows you to, to... You basically put it up, force a mismatch, and then you basically can start over. Interesting. That's cool. So you so you basically you can put backtrack in uh, if you're gonna get a mismatch anyways. That would pair well with, with the uh, the observant one. Unfortunately I'm Well, the accord will I can if I if I take the accord and I'm chatty but I'm really worried about being chatty right now. I'd rather give another option for some of these. Or, oh god. I want this one. <laughs> well, if I take this, I can probably get at least one of these back. I don't know. I wonder how many, if it says how many cards I have left. Like, I wonder, can, like, I wonder if, if they go back in. Like, am I pulling them back out? Uh, that's that's going to be a, a, a concern. Like, is 7 the amount that I've played plus my hand? Or seven the amount that I have remaining. Cause I, I have I have five here and I have two out. Oh, that's it. Oh well, we're gonna find out. If it starts going down even further. Oh, but I can't I can't do I can't do reconsider right now. I have to do this one. Just to to, to open myself to have additional options. Be bold, be brave, be colorful. Like this kimchi. History will remember you fondly. That's my philosophy, and as you can see, it served me well. By the way, if you're heading north, take the back roads to avoid any panhandlers. Uh, panhandlers, hitchhikers, or leeches of any other stripe. You managed to give Salem the slip. Seeing as how he's perfectly capable of carrying a conversation on his own, you're not sure he'll even notice. Got the kimchi out of it. And I got another I got another path out. Please let me choose a, a better card here. I really want the backtrack. Backtrack would be great. What card do you think I should get rid of here? I think I so I have three of these. Yeah. Let's let's get some diversity here. I have two more. Alright, Tesudo, let's do some pickle stuff. It's his big day, but he looks a little off this game. Fermentation Lamentation. You spot Tesudo pacing alone. He tugs at his collar as if overheating or catching you staring. Swiftly, he corners you before you can escape. You there. Someone, anyone must know the truth. But they might repeat it. And what is the truth, you ask? Why? I've been sabotaged. Monstrously, immorally sabotaged. Sounds like you're the one in the pickle today. I don't want to backtrack so soon. I want to see what you got. And I want to give you an option and build the accord. Let's go. And we still have the accord. Perfect. I'm gonna run this right into the ground. Let's go. Elaborate. Inherits the right hand symbols from the previous card. Yes! Oh, that's gonna be like that's great. It'll pick up even so it it keeps what it has too. Which elaborate, of course. Oh, that's amazing. That is freaking, that's an amazing card. Holy crap, I really want that. And look, now it's a three-parter, because I had the two. Uh, did I stutter? Yes, sabotage. Even as we speak. Small and feeble conspired to tear down the great and fearless. Well, I could play anything. Yes, sabotaged by, by my very own brother, Haruto. Ooh, 
what can I play here that'll be that'll be worth my I can't play anything that leads into logical and diplomatic. Unless it get it's not gonna give me a quirk, let's not do it. Okay. I have to I can get the I can I can start an accord going here. Yeah. I really don't want to be stuck backtracking. Well, I have an accord. I can if I have anything, no. I can run this. This will work. But I'll backtrack, which kind of sucks. The only thing, the only safe card I can run. Or I can run this and, and sh I can shatter with this. So what I can do is I can get back on track with this. I'll break the cord and I can draw another card. And then I can get, I can back in the, look, like, if I do like this, then I'm back on board. And I have something for him to work with now. I made a bold, daring, and desperate attempt to concoct a vinegar replacement. What? Less. It's not, uh, well, let's just say it's not quite the same. Well, I suppose the die is cast. Can't be helped. Oh, I see that look. You're thinking, oh, that's so to pseudo. I assure you, this isn't theater. It's serious business. have an accord. I can backtrack. But I won't have a match anyway. This will kill everything. Oh, well, no, this will this will backtrack and but I have nothing to work with. Well, it'll give him something to work with. Give me something better than this. That that is that's not helping. <laughs> You've doomed me to pseudo. I'll give you some new cards. Let me get these fatigues out of the way. I'm I'm willing to throw away I'm willing to throw away for that. Bah! A true genius is never recognized as such by his contemporaries. Don't know why'd you do that? You're killing me. My formula was pristine, sheer perfection. The only possible outcome is unqualified success. Oh. Well. Well, I mm hmm. I uh I can only play this one. Please, please, and I can see what he has too. This will work. Perfect. So I can if I play this and break the accord, he has he'll have something to work with. Yeah, okay, we did it. What does Haruto want, I wonder? Me? Scurrying back to the homestead? Tail between my legs? You leave the inconsolable Tsusuto to his humble pie. Okay, alright. I really- the elaborate would be freaking awesome. Where- where do I- where do I want to put this? The problem that I'm going to have now is it, it puts me in a bit of a bind. Like, I, I need more creative and industrious, right? But I have to be really careful where I put it. Hmm. I'm probably going to... I think I'm going to get rid of this chatter. I might get rid of this this observant actually. I'd rather have a more flexible card than just you know logical and diplomatic and then empathetic and observant. I'd rather have something with like I, I prefer like a symbol like this as my observant, or I can just throw it in anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna gamble on this because I really really want the elaborate. That's such a great. That's such a fantastic ability. Alright. Long, long trek to Anka. Actually, are they sticking around? 
Wait, I have. Hold on a sec. When did they move? When did they move to Anka? Where am I? Okay, so I'm there in Old Mary. Where are we? I can't even go. Hold on. I don't know the way to get there. Is what it is. Might have to ask around. I, I wish I had missed them here. Yeah, I need to go somewhere else to get some instructions. Like, I could head to Anka. I mean, that's like the only the only trek I can go, and it's, good. it's many days to get there. It's like seven days to get there, and I'm gonna get one one hit of fatigue. And I'm already really fatigued as it is. I'm like, I've got like four now? Yeah. I could potentially get a full hand of I can't talk. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I, I missed the boat, but I can still get there. Just barely. Home to a number of vineyards. Okay. Uh, an android. Uh, Romina lies among the hills, overlooking terrace vineyards or vineyards and the coast far below. Packs of children run across the crumbling limestone walls around the outer limits, tending their sticks or ancient swords. Okay. An older model of android barely seen. Well, considering uh, what I got from Jesudo, I could probably do this pretty pretty easily. An android walks down a dirt road near Romina. An old model in good condition. Besides the fresh mud from toe to knee. Several seconds pass before it senses your presence and initiates conversation. Small wonder no one smashed it for components. Uh, hello. I don't recognize your facial structure. My memory failed to load your name. Are you here to take me home? I don't know my location. I've walked for 67 hours, 10 minutes, and 11 seconds. 12 seconds, 13, okay. I wonder if there's some like post-apocalyptic backstory going on. Maybe, uh, maybe all the travels are just to recover, uh, to recover pieces of humanity, you know? Maybe that's what they're... Maybe that's what it's all about. Maybe it's all basically trading, like, remembrance of who we were. And that's that's why we're getting all these random things. Some of them are, like, recipes and food items. Some of them are trinkets and toys and, you know, art and, you know, lost, lost items. Well, I can build an accord. Let's start with that. Oh, you're, you're making this tough on me. I can't remember what your, uh, hold on. I can refer to this, okay. What was your secondary? Empathetic, okay. So I can break the accord with this, and we have something to work with. I was near old Mary in the past. An air conditioner named Gull turned me around. Uh, now I walk. <laughs> this road is error miles. It contains mud and blue-browed finches. The blue-browed finch feeds on fruit. So that's how we get there. Okay. Please categorize yourself. The following categories are valid. Flower, door, possum, locket, fire, hydrant, other... I'm going for possum. I, I, I'm able to eat ticks, and I don't catch rabies. Ah, oh, you've dude me already. Uh, crap. Crap. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed. I'm gonna lose two here because I place one and fail. 
and the next round and I also fail. Unless I can chatter off with this. I don't know if I can. Where are you located? Okay, I can chatter. Okay, perfect. So I'll shatter off of it. And... Does that build a cord? No, it doesn't because it's not with them. Wait, were you creative and industrious? What was your primary... What was your, your main thing? Yeah. So I, I do have an out. Elaborate isn't going to help, but I mean, this will get me out of the dumps. Or... No, it won't. It won't at all. I'll have to fail this one in order to give an, an opening. Uh, if I do... Uh, man, I really just need to play... It's, I'm going to fail this one, but I'm going to get a whole new set of cards. It's fine. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. can't play that. Oh, this sucks. I can't do this. I'm out. Yeah, I would have needed something different. Ah, this is the one time where I really wish I did have, um, Accommodate. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Android. I have nothing to offer you. A practice conversationalist could extract information out of this antique. The conversation loops as it fails to understand basic comments and commands. Well, I mean, this is a this is a direct upgrade. Let's go with this. It's focused on a task, whatever that is. I might. I kind of. I almost kind of feel like I need to go back to Bartow. This is this is like catastrophically difficult. The chances of me doing this are zero. I'd be better going to Anka. But man, it's like two more fatigues. I gotta go back to Barto. This isn't gonna help. Can I get back before the Roadhouse show? How many days is this? Yeah, I'll have to like peek back out and then in again. I should have stopped earlier. I should have stopped on like 24th. Well, I did get nuts. I didn't get an instrument. I'll have to. I'll have to. That's going to be my last attempt to do anything, is to... I could swear there was an instrument here. But I can't. I can't afford it. Yeah, let's go back. End your current trip, you'll be able to leave again until you unpack your items. Yeah, I'm too fatigued. I don't seem to have any way to get out of it. Look at that. Look at that mess. Work! There's a dog. A new friend. A storm kicks up as you approach Barto. Rain, thunder, the whole drama. A stray mutt runs into the middle of the road. You hit the brakes and honk your horn, trying to scare it to safety. But it doesn't run. Oh no. Aww. <laughs> what is this? A dog's love matches all. S oh my god. Okay, I have this. <laughs> I have to screenshot that. No, I got to screenshot it with the with the tool to... That's fucking adorable. Uh, I don't want to tuck your head off. Cause let's, oh, let's see what happens.
Oh, it's all. Oh, that's that's awesome. How how would you fail this? If you're, I guess, if you're tired, which is also, like, you could fail this if you're exhausted. If you have no, if you keep getting no cards, you could potentially fail this. So that's that's incredibly sad. Best Swedish chef. Uh, the hops into your passenger seat and looks at you with love in his eyes. Guess you have a new companion. You call him Thunder, and he doesn't mind. Spending time with Thunder makes you feel less fatigued. Yes! Finally, we have something to deal with it. Alright, Elias. He runs up when your truck comes in. Why didn't you just read the top thing? Uh, almost time. Elias drums his knuckles on your window. Before you've even unbuckled your seatbelt. Hopefully that little composition means he's prepared for the roadhouse performance with a recorder, because I have nothing else. Uh, you found an instrument, right? No, 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 you are screwed. <laughs> I'm not screwed? The, the recorder sounds so bad. Uh, hot cross buns, let's go. Oh, I need to get- I need that, that reconsider has to happen soon. He didn't find any instruments? Not even a cheap guitar? Oh, this is bad. This is so very bad. I got you nuts, though. Well, I have become pretty awesome with a recorder. Uh, relatively. We'll see. Ah, gotta reconsider immediately. Okay, we have choices now. Good old accommodate. Keep going. <laughs> you owe me. Not only are you coming to the roadhouse, you gotta cheer the whole time. Ladder to the booze. Hope we pull in enough visitors. I got wine. Let's get drunk. Elias looks devastated. Hopefully he can pull off a miracle uh, with that recorder. Not to make do. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't. I'm too tired. I need something crappy I can get rid of. Something viable for an accommodate. Uh. I think I'll get rid of one of these two for an accommodate, just to have an option, just to to be able to pull that one out. The more you return home, the less it feels like home. The birds learn new songs, the roads play tricks on you, fresh dramas become ancient history. Everyone lives their lives without you, the same way you live without them. Yeah, see we have five things now. We've got a couple of repeats, we've got some new stuff. Matilda's famous matcha, hand, hand round in Bukumboro. Wine bottled in Romina, but given to you in Pachinko. Licorice from Pachinko reminds you of home. Or reminds you of mom. Roasted nuts from Clifton, which uh, Elias won. And kimchi. Or no, 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 no. I need to give this. Ah, why did I get rid of this? I need to talk to uh, to Samuel. I don't know if uh, if he'll take it. He can buy it from the store. Kimchi from Elders. All right, get out of here, fatigue. <laughs> Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Yeah. Scat. Do up. 
Sa uh, Samuels show what the roadhouse draws in respectable crown to <laughs> Elias' horror. Well. Who? So. The hydroponic farmer bought the matcha to study. Okay. Day laborer brought the red wine for date night with his husband. Nice. What else? Solar technician waxed poetic about the sun in Clifton while picking up his groceries. Oh, that's cool. Depending on who you sell stuff to, you learn more. You learn more about uh, uh, different roots and stuff. Samuel brought the nuts to use as a snack during the roadhouse show. Were you going to use those to make the ribs better or something? Samuel was excited to try out some new recipes using the kimchi. I have never had kimchi, but uh, I have to give it a shot at some point. Home is a comfort zone. It's a lot like... Oh wow, we got a whole, whole bunch of people here. Uh, it's a lot like a favorite old sweater. You know exactly what to expect, and that makes it comfy. But you can't wear it forever. It's time to hit the road. Seems he has something on his mind. Alright, Elias, what's up? Caravan concerns. Elias knocks on the window of your store. He looks wound up about something. The second you open the door, he immediately starts in. Okay, just hear me out. Since he didn't do the whole route with a caravan last month, do you really think you still you need them still? I think I do. Probably. I don't know. I should have. I really should have. What if Nadine's holding you back? She was bailing me out! I'm the one who, who just wandered off because I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, if the Rookers have a hold over it, do you really want to depend on the caravan so much? Also, I think it's really cool that they pay attention to that stuff. And the dialogue changes with it. Uh, oh, I want, I, I want one of these. I want one of these with a chatter so I can combo into anything. I could chatter off of this, break the accord, and then bring it back again. In fact, I could chatter again, and then I think I have another card later. Uh, you know your way around now. You're a free spirit. The world is your oyster. Uh, Carp DM, yeah. Okay. I also don't like the D. Uh, what's your problem with your mom? That reminds me. Look what I found while I was cleaning out the back room. You think this key fits that locket? Here, give it a try. Um, most of this I can't use, so let's get rid of it. Or I don't know. Let's hold on to. Mm, let's let's get <laughs> while we're still while we're still here on logic one diplomatic. It was more to accommodate. That makes it easier. Oh, dude, you're getting talked over. Oh, it worked. What's inside? Is that your mom and Isabella? Look how young they were. I don't recognize those other two of them, though. But look, they all have matching circle pins. Circle pins? Do you think someone in Pachenko might know more? Well, I guess those pins were that they were everyone was people in the circle. I'd say that's just another reason to make your own way. Find out, find out more about that locket and help the store all at once. Without relying on the caravan. Like, Pachenko's about to hold the Festival of Colors. You can enjoy the festival and see if you could find out more about your mom. Yeah, Kunzer, the the presentation is so good. Like they're leading so well into this sort of like good, interesting stories, uh a lot of like mixed, lighthearted and serious moments. Um and the art is is so like 
it's got that like I don't even know like like it has it feels well it feels well traveled maybe is, does that make sense? I don't explain that. Ooh, my choices. I'm gonna have to eventually get rid of. Uh, I can't reconsider. This is gonna screw me. If I had a chatter to work with. Oh, I can accommodate here, yeah. Hmm. Well, keep the accord going as long as we can. Uh, look, whatever you do, just be careful. You can't please everyone on the road. Pick and choose and make the best of it. <laughs> I like how they're, they're reiterating a crucial gameplay play point is like, Trying to get a card, uh, a deck of cards that'll do everything, uh, will mean you will f you will f flat out fail conversations. Like I feel like, to some degree, I'm gonna have to start. Uh, I'm either gonna have to get rid of, uh, 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 either like logical or empathetic. Like something's gonna have to go. Elias wishes you well on your journey. Glad you took the time to hear him out, and hoping you'll heed his advice. He reminds you to keep the, the locket close. As a good luck charm. The locket had a picture of Mom Bachenko. This is a problem though, talking to him. Uh, I'm gonna just keep keep the accommodate here. Oh Dean. I uh I haven't had barbecue in so long. Um I think what I should do next time I pick up groceries is, um, I should go and grab some, um, I should get everything I need to make, um, um, pulled pork. Get some, get some chips and make some pulled pork sandwiches. I've done it before a couple times in the slow cooker. It's really easy to do. Alright, Nadine. Hopefully you're willing to share me some ribs or something. Nadine voraciously chows down on a plate at Samuel's barbecue as she stutters her roadmap, making notes about the upcoming excursion. So probably not ribs if she's she's messing with the map, or she's extremely, extremely clean picking up those ribs. She's probably got like a nice she's either got like a pulled pork sandwich, she's got some brisket. Um There's a place, there's a barbecue joint. That might be a local, so I'm not going to mention them by name. Um, they make amazing uh, spiced macaroni and cheese. It's like, so you know how like you can get like crappy craft macaroni and cheese, or you can have this like homemade barbecue style. It's like it's like it's seasoned. I I want to say it's seasoned almost as if it has a little bit of Dorito dusted or something. And you're like, it's 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 something like a little bit of cumin, a little bit of cayenne. Um, it's got uh, it's got chili powder in it. Um, a bit of salt. I'm trying to think of like what other flavors can I imagine from when I when I last had it. But it's freaking amazing. It's so freaking good. It's the best mac and cheese I've ever had. And it, it is like one of two places that I'd get mac and cheese from. Another one is another barbecue joint that is probably also local to the area, so I don't want to mention my name. But I've never had uh like I didn't think I liked mac and cheese uh until I had that. Um which is funny because I like I like you know if you want to go super cheap, I like I like hamburger helper and stuff. I like you know cheese sauce noodles. Um, I was headed by head that I just liked it because it, it had it had ground beef in it, and that's not the case. Let's see, what do you got? Um, you didn't manage to complete the route last time. I warned you it'd be difficult. Think you're ready this time? Uh, well, I have a dog now. <laughs> Thunder's gonna make this easier. The story's looking a little sparse. You're gonna have to turn things around. I got five items last time. You're killing me. See, I'm gonna just talk all over you.
Maybe that wasn't the best idea. What is this? Prepare. Choose which card from your deck you will draw next. What? Oh, that's hella crazy. You get to just flat out choose. That's a good one. I'm, I'm taking that. That's better than a chatter. Although I will chatter as well. Now, you know coming with us is the best way to keep up the store. Your mom liked to go off route, explore a bit. I can tell you right now it's not worth it. Uh like an old Mary. They run they ruin a peaceful activity like fishing by making it into an annual competition. Of course the Rilkers don't take part. Doubtful they approve it, of it at all, except to keep folks distracted. But it's your call. Make it quickly. We're heading out soon. Two of you sit in silence, eating barbecue and pondering the road ahead. It'll be a fishing competition in Old Mary. I am. T oh yeah, absolutely gonna learn this one. And I guess we're getting rid of a chatter. That's a fine trade. Welcome back, <laughs> Ramir. <laughs> Are you okay? His aura is more. Is even more. Melancholic than usual. Bad memories. Ramirez sits in a tire swing in an empty lot, looking out over Barto. The house he grew up in used to stand here before the owner died. He's drawing snakes in the dirt with a branch. Uh, with a branch? Recognizable by their hissing tongues. No offense, but I wouldn't mind if the caravan dropped this place from the route, just so I never had to come back here at all. My uncle rests his awful soul. He thought I'd be stuck here forever. That chance. I'm a restless spirit. The road's my home. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking though. Why did you pick up direct and forceful? Was that a reading before? He's actually got a really nice one too. I actually want this. Uh, I do miss the snakes around here. They used to be my best friends. I catch them, give them names like Lord Slither. Yeah, Lord Slither was the best. One time, he bit my ankle, and his ankle swelled up so bad he couldn't walk for a week. Uh, I got a bond with snakes. Those noble, slithering bastards I relate to most. Wouldn't be the man I am without him. Oh, he can, he can choose too, interesting. I will accommodate. Play me something I can work with. Here we go, perfect. Much better. Hey, don't let friends or family trap you here. Nothing's worth being stuck somewhere with no future. You have an odd moment of commiseration with Ramir. Maybe he's right about getting out of Barto. Oh. This is, this is happening. Where am I going to put this? I can replace the chatter. Hmm. Tough call. I could replace and accommodate, and that that's like more flexible overall. Hmm. I could. Uh, this is technically a better choice. I'm missing out on uh, another entryway into Empathetic and Observant. I'm actually running low on those. I might have to go ahead and get rid of the Accommodate. Yeah. Alright, I think I have time for, like, 
another another decent conversation or two. Because it is getting kind of late. Um, so yeah, I'm actually I actually missed the entire previous. Uh, so notice how the end of this would have been the Roadhouse show. Uh, we we hit it, but I didn't I didn't technically reach the date. It kind of ran on its own. All right. Well. I guess we're heading to Pachenko. It's cool that I have these extra roots, though. I'll make it easier. Here through day five. This is a tough call. Like. It doesn't. It actually kind of doesn't make sense for me to meet up with the caravan right now. Like, what am I gonna get out of this? I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna get. Like, all I'm gonna get is another round of licorice. Um, maybe it'll minimize my fatigue. Maybe. Hold on. Do I ever get a chance to talk to? The th I, I, I hope Thunder's around. I hope. I wonder if there's any way for me to to tell. Currently snoozing in your truck cab. Hmm. Well, just for the hell of it, let's try going the full way. Go with the caravan. Talk to uh, to Isabella. Folks hang colorful flags from the buildings and paint shop windows. Dean slams to a halt as a pair of kids race in front of her truck. She won't allow whatever nonsense is underway to put her to put the caravan but to put the caravan behind schedule. She's preparing for the festival. Oh, I can talk to I I, can, I don't really want to right now, but that's, a, that's adorable. I just love that so much. Uh, but I'm not gonna talk to I'm not gonna waste my opportunity to talk to Thunder just yet. But that's awesome. Uh, bright banners hung along the streets advertise the approaching festival of colors, but none of the displays are set up yet. Some merchants have set up early to take advantage of the foot traffic. Glad to see a friendly face today. I wouldn't be seeing anyone if uh, Marcus could help it. How are we doing this? This is actually going to be really bad. <laughs> this puts me in a bind. <laughs> I want to flee. I'm not ready for this. I don't have the cards that I need. I'm going to immediately upset her. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pressure you into taking my side. I'm sorry, I'm not... Well, I can at least keep going. I can just barrel through this. Oh, that, that'll help a lot, actually. Easily this one for now, yeah. Please try... One of the honey cactus bites. I went to Clifton recently, and I wanted to bring their flavors to the festival. Marcus and I just have a small disagreement about our goals for Pachenko's future. I'm afraid she's no lover of art. She's a lover of money. Under her watch, the circle are a little more than Rilker lackeys. It's all about outsider money now. Any artists who don't play who don't play by their rules get shut out. That's not what the circle was supposed to be. And I'm learning already then, because uh, the circle was what part what part of uh, part of her mom's uh, group. And I wonder if that was part of what was what was happening. Is that 
as 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 Mom's network grew, uh, that was the circle, and it was basically like not only bringing trade forth, but also like getting everybody, you know, everybody to get along together. You know, I hope this works. Okay, Great. this works. I think my insistence on supporting all artists spooked the festival organizers, but I have to speak up. For all gifted artists, for Pachenko, for your mom's memory. That's right. Back in the old days, your mom was a member of the Circle. We both were. We, we both were, in fact. Before she left, and Marcus convinced the others, I was a troublemaker. All because I won't stand for censorship or exploitation. Your mom never went, would have either. Or your mom would never have either. Mm, I kind of need to get rid of these. That's right. There's a lot more to living than making a cheap buck. Ah, well. Suppose in the end, it can't be helped. Marcus has chosen your path, just as I have chosen mine. Talking to you makes you feel better about standing up for what's right. Enjoy the festival, and please take a bag with you. More licorice? Yeah, I was about to say, maybe it was those cactus bites. Isabella is clearly someone who's okay with becoming a pariah for her, her ideals. Hopefully, you showed her that she doesn't have to struggle alone. Ugh. This is the only one I can go with. <laughs> I need to make sure I don't lose any of my good cards, especially as I'm moving forward later on. Uh, I'm sorry, Thunder. I'm not too tired. I have to wait a few more days before I'm ready to talk to you. There's the caravan going Clifton. Nadine expertly leads the caravan through streets that appear far too narrow and winding to allow passage. Colorful, handcrafted goods and the sizzle of street food vie for your attention. Well, I wonder what they've got this time. They're selling new products. Alexis motions gleefully for you to join them. Their expression won a triumph. You're not sure what's behind it, behind it all, but something tells you you're about to find out. More nuts? Or is it different things? Are we gonna combine it with with other somewhat distant foods like dried fruits? For the dude I couldn't converse with earlier. Closer, come closer. Don't leave this opportunity on the table. Nuts, old news. Crickets. What? No, I sell crickets. I mean, I guess protein. I'm gonna talk over you so you don't get the opportunity to mess this up. Perfect. We thought roasted nuts were good? Well, we all made that mistake. We've grown. We've all become wiser. I mean, I guess Alexis is going to get me to expand my horizons a bit. Nothing on this planet compares to the salty, crunchy, delicious taste of roasted crickets. Try one. I too. I mean, if I absolutely had to, I'd give it a shot. Okay, we can work with this. I simply can't believe I didn't sell roasted crickets before. I failed you. I failed everyone. So sorry. Well, after the nut catastrophe, maybe maybe that was our golden opportunity. I'm here to make things right. I'm the foremost roasted cricket provider in the area. No, the world. 
Not the only one. Oh, chatter's back. Let's do it. Let's go. I don't even need to choose. I'm just keeping this here anyways. Here, carry as many as you can. They'll nourish you. They'll keep you company in your darkest moments. Delicious friends. I hear there's a celebration for the railroad restoration going on in Anka. These will keep you nourished on that journey. Alright, they did me good. Alexis convinces you to try a roasted cricket. As expected, it crunches between your teeth. The flavor is... inoffensive? If you didn't know any better, maybe even tasty. Tasty and healthy snack from Clifton. I mean, technically, technically, uh, Bugs' food stuff is one of, like, the more, uh, it's definitely one of the more, um, efficient, economical things you could possibly eat if you're gonna eat, like, rather than, like, if you're gonna do the whole, if you're dropping meat and stuff and you're dropping processed foods, like, it works. I don't think I'm adventurous enough just yet. Not enough to try. Crap! What? How am I gonna get out of this? I might... You know, I might get rid of... Uh, hmm. I don't know. I might get rid of this chatter. These are so good for making a cord, but I've got like three of them already. I want prepare more than I want shatter. I like these ones a lot. Oh, I don't know. Shatter is so free though. Uh, damn me! I hate that I'm doing this. Sorry, Thunder. Not ready just yet. Oh, Alexis, you gave me crickets and that was fine, but you gave me a bad choice. You gave me bad, uh... You made me, you made me downgrade my deck. Back to Buckham... Buckhamboro. An older couple sits in the shade. Hold on. Wow, there's lots of people. Hey, you're, you're, what are you doing here? An older couple sits in the shade of the elevated tracks, playing a card game. A child hangs a sign announcing a new cafe. A, f uh, a few storefronts sport colorful displays. Doors flung open for the arrival of the caravan. Miriam. She's, she's fresh off the train from Anka, and she has directed forceful, so hopefully I can make this work. New Horizons. An elderly chocolatier stands in front of her storefront, attempting to lift a heavy bag of cacao beans. The smell emanating from within is nothing short of heavenly. Oh, oh. You're looking, you're looking a little, a little forceful. If you've got time to stand around and gawk at my new store, then you've got time to help me bring these cacao beans inside. Sure. You think a youngster like you would be an Anka celebrating the railroad reopening? Uh, sorry ma'am, I'm in the... <laughs> trying to do the good thing and, and, and follow this caravan. Oh, it's sure to be a glorious occasion. Here. Er, wow, it's a terrible idea. Not yet. Are all of them... Oh my god, they're all the same thing. They're gonna screw me. I have nothing on the left. I'm gonna talk over you for a second, I think. Yeah, sorry. We need to... <laughs> I need to bail out. Battle work. I think that one. Glad I didn't get rid of that. If you ask me, it's about time they got the railroad running again. 
Better late than never. I'm glad that I left Eka behind. Without the smog, I breathe easier too. Now that the railroad is running, you can get there in no time. Oh good, perfect. That makes it easier. Maybe I won't have fatigue from that too. What do I know about Eka? What don't I know about Eka? I know that the city doesn't always treat its people right. There you go, we got that smile. Oh, we had the smile for like two seconds. Here, put that put that put that smile back on. There you go, keep it. Hold on to it. Cherish it. I'll see you've screwed me. I can recite the council's nonsense even now. You've dealt with the contaminated pipes and high rent for years. Why should we why should we change anything? So wait, is that Flint, Michigan? Almost forgot what fresh air smelled like. Now, all I have to deal with is Matilda and her readings. Hey! That matcha is legit. You wouldn't believe some of the things she claims to have seen around here. Nice stories is all, I think. Don't tell her, but I actually do enjoy our chats. She wouldn't last a minute in Anka. It's a nice change. Hmm. I'm boned. But I can at least get out of this by giving her something to work with. I wanted to see what her, her deck looks like. Why are you just standing there? I don't know what to say. What? You have nothing to work with? You're killing me. I got take a breath. Oh, I've screwed. I, I, this, the negotiations have all broken down. It's, it's all over. I thought I was being smart about it. I totally boned this. I should have thrown, I should have, I should have focused on keeping the conversation going by throwing away something that she could lead into. Well, it's all over. You're not listening to me. The bag of cow beans splits down the seam, and Miriam demands you set it down immediately, refusing any further help. Oh, sorry. This would be a this this is a backtrack probably isn't gonna work super well. Oh, Dean, bail me out. Dean stands outside the newly completed train station, watching with the Zane as a small queue of passengers forms, uh, waiting to board. She furrows her brow and takes a sip of matcha. Can't say I understand all the fuss. They got this thing rolling again, but loaded it down with passenger cars. People don't think enough about how their goods move around. They just want them in a certain place at a certain time. I thought she would be concerned about uh, potentially replacing the caravan with just a bunch of freight trains. I suppose it's not the case. Keep the uh, keep the accord going too. This is why I prefer the caravan. This train won't take you to to send a canals, but we will. Sure, the road's a little rougher, but you get to see a whole lot more. Nothing about the easy life interests me. I want to I want to feel the sun in my eyes. The rough rocks under my wheels. Your mom was the same way, you know. Watching her handle a sharp hairpin turn in that truck was a beautiful thing. So I'm actually really worried about uh, ever getting stuck driving like a moving truck or whatever. Um, like I'll probably never rent a U-Haul. 
just because I'm afraid of trying to do something that big and, and knock it into stuff. Meanwhile, I can't even fit into compact spots with my car. I bought my car to be comfortable. It has like a... Some of the biggest cabin space for a car that I can get uh, for what was available. But uh, it doesn't fit anywhere. <laughs> like I, I can't do compact spots. I can't get out. That makes the uh, the parking situation where I work was really rough for a while because uh, we had a bunch of different issues with figuring out parking spots, people people from other places and other businesses taking our spots and stuff. And honestly, uh, the place that I work at. We more or less hired too many people, and we didn't expand. Uh, we didn't get the infrastructure expansion that we needed soon enough. Um, so working from home has been really nice that I don't have to navigate that anymore. Because uh, we eventually started building a parking garage, but that's uh, that wasn't remotely. That was barely started when when all this went down. Yeah, I don't, does this allow me to keep the accord going? No, no, no it's an accord for myself, so it wouldn't work. I hope my next card is good, otherwise I'm doomed. There we go, yeah. There, I can prepare. Um, and I can reconsider right afterwards. Perfect. I hope... Okay, I was about to say, I hope she gives me a logical and diplomatic at the end, because otherwise I'm boned. Please take and admire the effort to keep the railroad free of Vilker, Vilker control. I wonder, I'm, I'm, cu I'm going to be really interested to see what the Vilkers are going to be. I don't know if I've met any of them yet. It's good for Brookham, Brookham Borough, too. Maybe this place will pick itself back up the next time we come around. As long as Matilda sells matcha, I'll come. Maybe, maybe that's how you can keep R2 on the route. Steel Beast. It needs size and takes another sip for a matcha. Surprisingly, the stuff really does do wonders for a temperament. Uh, these are so ridiculously worth having. Like, I can't see not ever taking these. I think uh, it's going to be these last couple conversations, and uh, that I'll be calling it because it's it's late. All right, she sneaks a sugar a sugar cube into her own cup of matcha. Freaker customer, a silver bell jingles above your head as you enter the shop. Matilda waves to you, all smiles. She offers you. One choice of tea, matcha. Her brand is very consistent. If it's good. You know, I can't believe I didn't place it sooner. Your work, your hometown, your appearance. I know your mom. You did? She was one of my favorite customers. Always came through with a caravan. It was very sad to hear she passed. Yes, totally. I, I kind of want to take this one, but we're taking the chatter. Yeah. I want to. I wish I had taken an observant card. There we go. No matter how busy, she'd stop to read the tea leaves. She was so respectful of the process, very focused and open. I think that's why her readings were always so accurate, and consistent, too. 
Almost every time she came in, the tea leaves would land exactly the same way, in the shape of a perfect circle. Spooky, right? Honestly, I have no idea what it all means. She has a little bit of everything. Anyway, I sure miss her. I don't mean to make things awkward. I just feel silly I didn't know. He looks so much like her. Take some matcha with you. I hope it's still a popular product around Barto. You weren't expecting to discuss mom when you stepped into the tea shop, but Matilda is seldom predictable. You're quick to hit the road after depositing the matcha into your truck. Not, wait, no, no, not yet. Not so quick. I still have one person to talk to. I think I think I'm gonna get rid of the chatter to have additional flexibility here. I mean even though the chatters are really excellent for skipping over stuff. Uh, prepare or chatter. Prepare is probably going to save me as I get tired. Alright, Klaus, what do you steal this time? <laughs> She's just using the mood for a heist. Oh no. Okay. Taste for the sweet life. Klaus strolls through the tiny marketplace of Bukumboro, putting on the guise of an absent minded widow shopper, window shopper as she cases the place, scanning for her next mark. She spots you and smiles. So you managed to track me down once again, perhaps I've underestimated your abilities. Should I be worried, flattered, or perhaps a bit of both? I've, I've come to talk you out of it. You, you can't have you taking people's nuts. That's just, that's just nuts. I'm taking it. I'm going the safe way for sure. Ooh, you're gonna chatter over me, are ya? Such a clever response. I'm not sure yet what game you're after, but I must warn you against trying to outcon a thief. I've come relatively prepared, as indicated by the symbol on the card. If you're really interested in partnering up, answer me this simple question. How do you prefer your matcha prepared? Straight or sweetened? Uh. Truthfully, I've never had matcha ever. I'm not normally much of a tea drinker. Um. I think the only teas that I've had that I've been okay with have been like sleepy time teas with like all the random like peachy teas. Um. Which aren't really super tea. Um, chamomile, for getting to sleep. Which I, I really should be drinking more of, honestly. Um, Harney and Sons makes a uh, a uh, like an orange cinnamon spice or hot cinnamon spice or something like that, which is really good. I don't know if any tea, like the only tea I think I've really, really, really enjoyed um, was uh, uh, it's completely slipped my mind. It tasted like graham cracker. Uh, chai. Wow. I'm. I don't know why I blanked. I've, I've only had it like once, and I really, really liked it. And I'm meaning to find a place that that makes it, that uh, offers it really nice. Because I'm, I want to, I want to have that experience again. Be certain that I like it, and then just order a bunch. I should consider just getting some nice samples somewhere. 
crap, and I just made a giant Amazon purchase too. I should have sn snuck some in. Damn it. Tasted like uh, like cinnamon and graham crackers. Super good. It's probably... I wonder if it even counts as tea. Like, just the same way as like... I'm not a beer drinker, but I like cider. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like drinking shots, but I like mixed drinks. Tell me what you got. Perfect, we can work with this. Yeah. Yes, of course you do. I surmise as much the first time I laid eyes on you. The reason I ask? I recently tasted Matilda's matcha, and I've concluded that it's absolutely divine. Oh no. You leave Matilda's tea alone. I had no idea what I was missing. And soon, Matilda won't, won't either. I simply must have more. Can I just give you some? I have some. We can share. Oh good. I'm glad this came up. Good. Please don't steal anymore. Here's an idea. Be pal and go to tractor for me, would ya? Klaus slashes at you puppy dog eyes as a mischievous grin spreads across her lips. She gestures for you to enter Matilda's shop. How about... How about no? I don't want any of these. If we ever go back to talk to the Pickle Man again, I really want Creative and Industrious, or the Android, but I'm not gonna make it, I don't think. Damn you! I have few cards, at the very least I have few cards that lead into, or lead, basically start from Empathetic and Observant, so... This is probably an upgrade. I'd love to get more of these, but... Uh, alas. Oh no. Yeah, I literally had to go back to her and help her get robbed. <laughs> Damn it. She's helping customers in her shop. Now's my chance to distract her. I, I guess I could move on. I don't know if I want to help a thief. You've given me excellent insight and, and tea. I'm not doing this. I'm glad I'm not forced. <laughs> I would have felt really bad about that. <laughs>